if, if history teaches any lessons, uh, we should give them the benefit of doubt. I mean, uh, it's sure that uh, um, historically speaking, uh, China has fought uh, very little aggressive wars. That's a fact. And they're not very good at it, too. Look at the Korean War. Uh, or look at uh, what was potentially a military conflict uh, around Taiwan and the Taiwan Strait. I, I very loth to get in that because you, you go into all kinds of things, you know, but I was living at Taiwan at that time. I, I don't want to give it as an example, but it was very much rhetoric, you know. They were shooting each other, but on alternate days. Uh, it's... Uh, it was ritual. Well, it was ritual, sure. And... Um, I, I find that very difficult. I, I don't want to prophesy it at all, and things are changing. And uh, the reaction of uh, what, when it really would ever come to a conflict would be unpredictable. But um, it's sure that uh, the, the soul of China is, is very much in what I, I think that, that is sure. That is that uh, China has always been uh, and that is the, the distortion of this uh, Confucian model, you know, this uh, Confucian paradigm. We, we, we are settled with this as foreigners, which makes it difficult. But China has really been always a, 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 a manufacturing and trading nation. And trade, uh, war is not always good for trade. Uh, and it's certainly not. And, and certainly, I mean, uh, today that weighs very heavily. And we don't know what's going to happen, sure. Uh, I, I, I think that um, there is no major threat for world peace at this moment in any way. And I certainly, this threat is not coming from China. I, that, that, I, that I can assure. That I can assure.